humpback whales. These charismatic mammals occur throughout the world's oceans. And they have long fascinated those lucky enough to observe them. have this really complex social system. They're quite intelligent critters. The whale gives a feeling of the wildness of the world. Once nearly hunted to extinction, these awe-inspiring animals have made a remarkable comeback since 1966, when the International Whaling Commission completed the global ban on commercial whaling of humpback whales. The North Pacific humpbacks, they were hunted quite heavily, down to about 5% of the original population size. Some have estimated that there was about 1,200 to 1,400 individuals in the entire North Pacific. Humpback whale populations really were severely depleted and it wasn't until they became protected through acts like the Marine Mammal Protection Act and the Endangered Species Act that we started to see a recovery of these populations. Since the 1970s, researchers have been studying the distinct humpback whale population that migrates between feeding grounds in southeast Alaska and breeding grounds in Hawaii. With time, the numbers of animals steadily increased, and in 2004, a multi-year research effort involving more than 50 research groups got underway to determine the abundance of humpbacks throughout the North Pacific. It was estimated that there was a little over 10,000 whales now visiting Hawaii. Now, from less than 1,000 in the 1970s to over 10,000 in 2006. And that was from a population North Pacific-wide of about 21,000 whales. That's an incredible recovery story. The rate of annual abundance increase was about 6 to 7 percent. Based on this assessment and others, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration removed the Hawaii distinct population segment of humpback whales from the U.S. endangered species list in 2016. It's not very often that we see these conservation successes. So that's an example of us doing something right in nature. So people are breathing a sigh of relief thinking they're out of the woods. But the celebration of this incredible conservation success story was short-lived. The 2015-2016 whale season here in Hawaii, we started to get anecdotal reports that whale numbers were lower than usual. So initially we thought maybe there's just a late arrival, could be patchy distribution, not really sure. But that trend continued for the next three seasons. We started seeing fewer whales here in Alaska far fewer calves than we had seen in previous years. We are seeing more whales, apparently, that were not migrating, and we are seeing a lot more skinny and emaciated whales. It came as a big shock because the humpback whale population had been recovering so steadily. All of us really were caught off guard, and we just didn't know what to think. It was a major concern. You can't help but be impacted emotionally. People think of scientists as being kind of all head and no heart, but no, it's quite different. After you've been studying the species for a while, it becomes a personal involvement. If they're missing, it's like losing a family member. Cetaceans, you know, whales, dolphins, porpoises are really canaries in the coal mine. They tell us the health of our oceans. And so when they're not doing that well, we really need to listen. What had happened to the humpbacks 
And how did the scientific community mobilize to answer this question? Thank you.